If you are one of the growing number of people who need to start building web pages, you may find it hard to know exactly where you should start. There are so many different technologies involved in building websites nowadays. Which of these technologies should you focus on? Which one represents the best investment of your time? HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Ajax, PHP? How will you ever get on top of all these different technologies? One of the best places to start is Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. And one of the best ways to learn Dreamweaver is the Adobe Dreamweaver One Week Special for Mac Resource Computer Training. This five-day course will show you how to use Dreamweaver's friendly visual interface to start building websites based on today's most useful web technologies and techniques. Dreamweaver behaviors are preset JavaScript routines which can be inserted and associated with elements on your web page. To work with these JavaScript routines, from the window menu choose Behaviors. And here when you click on this plus sign, you see all the various behaviors that Dreamweaver can apply. There are two behaviors which relate to form fields. First we have validate form, which we'll look at in another tutorial. And then we have set text of text field, which is the subject of this tutorial. And what this behavior does is to change the value in a text field when the user performs a certain action. In this example, what we'll do is to set an initial value in the inquiry field as a prompt and then when the user clicks to actually type their inquiry, we want our prompt to disappear. To type the prompt, with the field highlighted, in properties we put an initial value, init val. To apply the behavior, with the field highlighted, we choose set text, then set text of text field. Dreamweaver displays all the text fields in this drop down, and we've got to make sure we choose the correct one, which is inquiry, the text area. And in the new text box, we type in the text that we want to change to. And of course, in this case, we simply want blank, so we leave this. Uh, field completely blank. Whenever you attach a behavior to an element on your page, Dreamweaver guesses the action or event that you want to associate with that element. In this case it's chosen on blur, which occurs when the field loses focus. And what we actually want is when the field accepts focus. So we need to change this by clicking here to On Focus. Let's test our event by pressing F12, Preview. And when I click in the field, you'll see it goes blank. The user then types in their requirements. However, there is a problem. If the user goes to another field and then decides that he or she would like to add or modify this text, as soon as they click, bang, the text disappears. And you can imagine how happy that's going to make them. So what we need to do is to ensure that this only occurs the first time the user clicks into this field. Fortunately, Dreamweaver allows you to modify behaviors. So if we go into code, we can find the function 
which causes that behavior to kick in. And here it is. All the Dreamweaver functions are normally prefixed with mm, so they're easy to recognize and find. So mm set text of text field. What we can do is to create a flag, a variable, which has an initial value that we can test each time the function runs. So we create the variable outside the function, and we do that by typing the keyword var and the name of the variable. Let's call it change flag. And let's set it to a value of 1. Now inside the function, we need to put a test to see whether the value of change flag is still 1. So there's our if statement. And what we now need to say is if it is 1, as well as doing all of this, we also want to set it to 0 so that the next time this test is performed, it will no longer be true. OK, so we've got our flag variable initialized outside the function, so it will only happen the first time the page loads. Then inside the function, we check in the flag to see if it's still set to 1. If it is, we change it to 0. Then Dreamweaver's behavior kicks in, but the next time the function is called, i.e. the next time the user clicks or tabs into that field, this is no longer true so Dreamweaver's behavior is no longer executed. Let's see if it works. So we click, our text disappears. We move to another field, we click again and you'll see that the text stays there. Back in Dreamweaver, you'll see that when we click on the field, we still have our behavior. Um, so it's very flexible. You can apply behaviors to your fields, but if you need to modify the functionality of the behavior in some way, Dreamweaver still allows you to go into the code, make your changes, and the behavior still works.